I always get nervous at sunset because I feel like I'm running out of time. I can't help it. Oh, Sen Shawan, please have a seat. Would you like a cigarette? Oh, no, thank you, Shawan. I have weak lungs. I heard about what happened to your brother-in-law and also your father. They were punished just because they are related. This man has already been released, so it's useless to talk about it, all right? I suggest you just go back home. I didn't come here to talk about my family, sir. I'm representing the people of Wan Si County. I came to plead for Mr. Chen Fu Jia. Tian Fu Jia? Xiao Wan, you did very well, huh? The local committee leader issued a statement, and Deputy Director Zhe took on the matter concerning the release of Wang Mengya. This will mean that. Deputy Director Tian Fu Zhang had nothing to do with this. <laughs> hey, sister in law. Oh, elder brother. I'm glad to see you. Thank come you. in, come in, please. What did you bring me this time, huh? Oh, I know you're going to like this. Huh? Look, it's your favorite, pancakes. Pancakes? <laughs> Come, sit down, sit. Where's Fuju? Oh, he's at a committee meeting. Why didn't you tell us you were coming? Well, that's because you're really the one who I wanted to visit. <laughs> I'm happy to Good. hear that. Your oh, tea? thank you. You know what? I really wanted to talk to you about uh -huh. something. If you didn't come today, I was thinking of giving you a call at the commune. Why? What's the matter? Deputy Director Li Dangyin of the Revolutionary Committee. Do you know him? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I met his wife. We're friends now. And? And they have a son named Li Shengshan. This might be hard to believe, but Li Shengshan is showing interest in your daughter Runya. Director Li Dangyin's son? Yes. Oh, that's precisely why I came here today to talk to you about finding a match for Runya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we think alike. Uh -huh. Oh, this young man is now a driver for the County Revolutionary Committee. He has broad shoulders, a fine-looking young man. Uh, listen. Please remember that I'm only an employee. Li Dong Yun, on the other hand, is the deputy director of a committee. This gap between us... Oh, I'm not saying that there's a gap between us, okay? But the gap between peasant and the elite... <laughs> it would be best to find someone who comes from an average family like us and not outside our social status. Oh, elder brother, it's not like buying pork at the market and then asking if the fat can be removed from the meat. Uh. <sighs> Try to understand. We are from peasant stock, very ordinary. They might look down on Runya. They're not going to do that. We might be ordinary, but our Runya isn't anymore. Please remember that she's now a national teacher. Wait, has she said anything to you? No, she hasn't. That daughter of mine doesn't tell me anything anymore, and it's causing me so much anguish. Concerns over finding her a match have made me lose sleep, and I lost my appetite. Stop worrying. You can put your mind at ease now, elder brother. This potential marriage deserves some serious consideration. We're not doing this because we'll be profiting from it, right? After all, we'll still consider getting their consent, correct? So please, stop being so picky. No, I'm not being picky at all. I think it would be better if you decide on this matter. <laughs> Good, I agree with you. Uh, uh, please do your best to convince Runya to agree to this before the other party loses interest. Yes, of course. We shouldn't let this rare opportunity slip by. There might not be another. Yes, you're right. Other than Director Li Dangyun's son, uh, what's his name again? Li Shengshan. Li no other man should ever come and try to woo Arunya again. <laughs> Father, you've spoken with Auntie. What did she say? <laughs> she said that this young man's name is very good. Xiang Xia, Xiang Shan, Xiang Xia. What a great name. <laughs> Father, I beg you, please, stop meddling in my affairs. 
I don't want to get married yet. Runia, no one's asking you to register for marriage right this minute. Careful, it's hot. I'm going out. Wait a minute. You haven't given me your answer yet. Father, I asked you to stop interfering with my life. I already have a sweetheart. Who is it? Is it Sun Shao Wan? Huh? What does that country bumpkin have to offer you? If you insist on marrying him, you will bring disgrace to this family. Father, don't forget that our family came from the lower income class, too. What's wrong with Xiao Wan? He's hardworking, compassionate, and honest. He's doing his best to change his destiny, just like the rest of us. So you fancy him because of that? You can't survive on that. Then tell me, what's more important for you? Since you came to live here in the city, you've become disobedient. You're still my child. You cannot say no to me. Lower your voice. The students will hear you. How dare you? Who gave you the right to speak to me this way, huh? Huh? Did you forget that you still depend on me for your meals? Where are you going? To get you something to eat. Why are you so excited? My family found a match for me, and I'm going to Wang Yuan on Sunday for matchmaking. Wang Yuan? Mm -hmm. I don't intend to stay here for the rest of my life, you know. Just wasting my life being a teacher. <laughs> Teachers are engineers of the human soul. So many have tried and failed to be where you are now. But here you are, ready to give it all up, just for a man. I want to find someone who can provide well for me. I tell you, Lili, women should never live their lives dependent on men. But I'll make sure that I'll always get my way. This man I'll be matched with, his father's a local leader. He himself is with the youth committee. And I heard he's quite good looking. <laughs> you haven't met him and you're already excited. Well, I have a feeling. It'll all work out. What's the matter? Why are you sad? My second aunt has found a match for me. But I don't like him one bit. You can always say no. I don't want to marry a person I don't like, but if I disagree, it's going to make my second aunt unhappy. You know that I'm staying in their home now, and my uncle got me this job. If I were to say no to them, they would be so disappointed. I know you have a boyfriend. It's Sun Shawan, right? He's your childhood sweetheart. But I also know that he's a peasant. So what? Lanya, <sighs> think about this carefully. It's natural for people to aspire for better lives. You're a teacher. Your father's a secretary. Your uncle a director. With all those qualifications, you can have anyone at your beck and call. But you fell for a farmer. What's wrong with that? I'm in love with him. Well, you can't survive on love alone. You must think carefully about this matter. Don't ever get swayed by your emotions. Use your head. What I feel for him is pure. I just can't ignore that. And I know he loves me too. You... Listen to me. Do you know what will happen to you if you marry him? Everyone at Monsi County will laugh at you. And what about your family? They'll be ridiculed too. Stop being so sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. But if I support you, it's like pushing you into a pit. And that's not what friends do. In all honesty and idea, life and real life are different. Let me ask you. That boyfriend of yours, does he brush his teeth? After you're married and have given birth, will you return to teach again? Or will you also become a farmer? If you come back, will he come too? Many farmers for various reasons are unwilling to stay here in the city. Another thing, you have to think about your children's education, their future. I don't want you to have any regrets. You might become resentful and bitter. You can't change my mind. And I'll teach him to brush his teeth. Wait, Runya, listen to me. Oh, you're back. Mm. Wait, this... isn't this Farunya? Why did you bring this bag back home again? <sighs> Didn't you see each other? Just open it. All right. Oh, you shopped for some goods. Oh, bath soap, I like these. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? You're angry. 
Your daughter's attitude has become increasingly bold these days. A son of a deputy director of a revolutionary committee is interested in her, but she refuses to marry him. She left me alone at that dormitory and ran off just like that, all because she favors marrying a poor farmer. Are you referring to Sun Shaowan? How do you know about him? They've known each other since they were children. You should realize. Runya has moved significantly up the social ladder, but Sun Shaowan is just a simple farmer. All year long, he works in the fields endeavoring to earn a few work points. How much money can you make with that, huh? No, I will not allow her to be married to him. Chairman Mao may be the ruler of China, but I make the rules in this family. Hey. Come, sit here. Let me wash your feet. As far as I can tell, Xiao Wan is a good man. In terms of appearance or conduct, he's not bad at all. And he has a good heart. Every year during the selection of team leader, you vote for him too, do you not? Choosing a leader and choosing a son-in-law are two different things. Such wasted years. Had he gone to the county to study with Runya and finding a job, the thought of him as my son-in-law wouldn't be so horrifying to consider. So you agree to Xiao Wan becoming her son-in-law then? I said if that was the case, if the two of them were working in the county, I would need no prompting from him. I would have fought a matchmaker and made a beeline for his house to have Runya betrothed to him right away. Then I would help lift the circumstances of his family. If they found themselves homeless, I would build two houses for them. If they had nothing to eat, they can come here. That would be fine. This water's too cold. Add some more hot water. Hey, you know what? It's just like comparing a mule car to the motor car, which will run faster. That dreadful rascal should go and find a big mirror and look at his own reflection. Festering my daughter with his affection all the time. Even if he ended up with nothing, he won't lose out. Don't you realize that he's just trying to raise his value by using our daughter? If they end up together, it would feel like someone put dog poo on top of my own grave. This is making me so angry, I feel like I'm popping a vein. Such vile words you're saying. Is this something a branch secretary would say? <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Xiao Wang came here earlier today looking for you. What did he want? Something about... distributing land for pig feed. Yes, we talked about that. Well, at least he's got some brains. So you'll support him then? Why not? Distributing more land to the peasants has its advantages. In any case, if the live pig target is not achieved, I'll have to answer to the commune. And, uh, and if it's not done properly, I'll be criticized. Then you must work closely with Xiao Wan. Hm. Me? Work closely with him? If he pesters our daughter with his affections again, I'll use this project against him to get him off our backs! <laughs> Oh, Look what you've done! You've made a big mess! You wipe this! As time passed, the students in the county started to get to know each other a little better each day. At this delicate and impressionable age, besides Sen Xiaoping and Hao Hongmei, other young men and women their age began to socialize more, hoping that they would be able to attract the attention of the opposite sex. It was indeed a very exciting time in the lives of these students. Congratulations, Sen Xiaoping. Your class is the champion of this basketball competition. I present all of you this award. This is the prize and the certificate. Let's congratulate them! Sun <laughs> Xiaoping, what's wrong with you? You were fine a minute ago. Suddenly you became lethargic. I'm hungry. 
Hungry? You have to be patient. It's still a few hours before dinner. Renshang, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure whether I can complete the two remaining years of high school. I don't know what to do anymore. What's gotten into you? What are you saying? What do you mean by that? I'm dropping out of school. Why would you want to do that? Why do you sound so excited? Well, because you once told me you wanted to leave. By hitching a ride on a train, I want to do that as well. So tell me, do you have any plans? When are you leaving? Tell me. I don't know. I haven't planned it. If that's so, why will you drop out? Because all this time I spent here, I've received financial help from Ranya, but it's still not enough. I'm still hungry all the time. I can't even afford to buy a decent meal. And every time I feel hungry, I would think of leaving. I could study for half a year and then return to the village to work as, as an accountant. That's a very good plan right there. Then again, there's always something stopping me from leaving this school. I'm such a coward. I understand. We have so many expenses. A lot of social activities are being done here. Whether we learn or not doesn't really matter. There's not much pressure for us to learn. We just have to waddle through this whole ordeal. We'll graduate in no time. It will cost my family a lot for one additional year in high school. Life is already hard for them. If I can't share in my family's burden, why should I add to it? I don't know what to do anymore. It's so frustrating. Like I said, something is keeping me from leaving. Wait a minute. It's not your family. You're in love. Stop <laughs> it. I was wondering why you were acting unusual these days. Always making our classmates cheer you up. You were trying to make Hao Hong May notice you. To tell you the truth, she and I are just getting to... to know each other better. <laughs> we really enjoy spending time together. Sometimes we would borrow books from each other, chat a little. But it's not what you think. Chia 哈哈水水流 Let's hurry up. Hurry, hurry! Come on, let's go. Today, we'll talk a little bit about the distribution of land for pig feed. Let's listen to Xiaowan. You're aware our production team has always adhered to the principle of working more and meeting less. I'm not convening a meeting. I just want to tell you what I think. I would also like to ask your opinion about matters that concern you. And also to clarify a few things with you. Every time pigs are mentioned, we get anxious and frustrated. We can't even feed ourselves, let alone our pigs. Yes, you're right, Shawa. But this is a matter of national policy. So there's not much we can do about it. The state wants to feed the working class, the People's Liberation Army, and of course the urban dwellers. And to support third world countries, mind you. So we must breed these pigs, and we have to feed them. This truly is very worrisome. Didn't the state just issue a policy decreeing that every household be given 0.39 hectares for pig feed? Wait a minute. Why don't you just tell us what you want to say, huh? Get straight to the point. This thing about the pigs, we already know. Even if everyone knows about it, we still have to mention it. As Xiaoan said, everything must be made clear. Let's listen to him first. Thank you. 
What can 0.39 hectares do? The pigs are our livelihood. But if we can't feed them, does that mean they will eat us? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Wanzhang, I've already discussed this with Fu Gao yesterday. Okay, what I would like is to ask everyone's opinion about our proposal. Look over there. You will see several patches of land where no crops are planted. Those uncultivated fields are just as arable as the ones we plan on but are neglected. We can still profit from those fields. I would like to take this opportunity to divide those unused lands between us and allocate them as land for pig feed. Right. That way we don't reduce our team's land for growing crops. Sure. How much land will be allocated to each person? You can be given as much land as you can cultivate. So you mean I can plant anything on the land allocated to me? As long as you will be able to produce enough feed for the pigs. Whatever you want. You can even do that in your spare time. If you want to plant a money spinning tree, go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Show on. This land allocation project is a very big deal, huh? Who gave you permission to do this? Now, after all, there are two superiors above you in the hierarchy. That's right. Uh, about that. I am the production team leader. If there are no differing opinions, then I can make the decision. Of course, uh. Uncle Fu Tang, my second uncle, and everyone else will also get their share oh, of allocated land. Right. Hey, listen. This idea of allocating land for us to use is certainly a noble concept. Mm -hmm. I know we should support you, but I'm still a little concerned, you know? That's very good. Chairman Mao said that a bad thing can turn into a good thing. Just the same, good can also become bad. That's right. So is this a good thing or a bad one, Shawan? Who said that? Chairman Mao. Then who said a grain in your hand is confidence in your heart? Chairman, Chairman Mao, Chairman Mao said, also so said worried that. About? I know exactly what needs to be done. Now everyone follow me so we can begin. Let's go over there and have a look yeah. to see how big it is and how we should measure it, okay? Come on. Oh, let's Come on, go. let's go. Hey, 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 stop. Just one more thing. I almost forgot to tell you. When you return to the village, don't talk about this with other people, especially with your wives, because I hear Junwu's team was also here to measure the land. We don't want to lose out to them, do we? Junwu knows about this. Uh -huh. We need to be very clear about one thing. Although this wasteland is uncultivated, it belongs to the state. And it's given to you so that you can work on it and harvest it, all right? Please do not confuse the issue. State land belongs to the state, and your own land belongs to you. Is that clear? Clear. Just make sure you don't talk about this with anyone, okay? Come on, okay, let's show on! No show on, wait up! What is it? Come on, everyone! Let's hurry! Time to work. I'm still a little worried. We might be committing treason here. Don't worry, this is a good thing, just get it done. Come on, hurry. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? All right, girls, you follow my lead, all right? Whatever I come say on, goes. Come on, come on, everybody, line up. All it's right, time to distribute go. tools. Quickly, line up. Here, for you. Here. Here. Quickly. Here. I don't want this ugly shovel. Don't all shovels look alike? If you don't like it, go get one from your home. Next in line. Who says they all look alike? You gave the good shovel to the person you like the most. To whom did I give the good shovel to? To your girlfriend! Look, everyone, didn't he give it to his girlfriend? <laughs> Did you see that? It proves what I said is true! Shopee, don't! Yu Ye, go apologize to Hong Mei now. No way. Why should I? You're protecting Hong Mei. Are you thinking of making her your girlfriend, too? <laughs> How long, man? Here's your shovel. Sun Xiaoping, can you please tell them we're just classmates that I'm not your girlfriend? Please do that! Yes, I'll tell them. Your shovel. That unfortunate incident exposed Sen Xiaoping and Hao Hongmen's relationship. As a result, they tried their best to avoid each other. They were too embarrassed to be seen together even during classes. They would not even look at each other. And because both of them were so immature, they felt as if their whole world crumbled. <laughs>
A feeling of resentment crept in, making the situation even more difficult. They also felt as if everyone was watching their every move. They didn't realize that the incident was already forgotten by most. But to them both, it would be one of the most unforgettable experiences of their lives. So, Xiaoping no longer associated the black steam buns with Hong Mei's eyes. Even when they passed each other or found each other face to face, he was no longer moved to glance at her. He tried his best to forget about Hong Mei and his feelings for her. However, that would soon change as the next event unfolds. Xiaoping, I've been waiting for you here to return your book. <clears throat> this is the builders of a new life you lent me. I didn't have the chance to return it to you and caused you to miss the due date. Oh, be careful! White wafers? Well, I returned the book late. Please take these wafers as compensation to make up for my not returning the book on time. So, if it's late, it's late. These wafers are precious. Keep them for yourself, please. Oh, no, no! There's no need to return them. We have plenty at home. I want you to have them. Thank you. Hongmei? You are wearing clothes with no patches today. They look new. The collar is bright. <laughs> you look nice in them. This is my only blouse without patches on them. Wait till it's winter and I'll have to wear clothes with patches upon patches again. <laughs> I didn't wear these clothes because I was going to see you. Uh, I know. I didn't think that. You were supposed to say something? Nothing. I'm leaving now. Let's leave together. We shouldn't. If you insist, I'd be really angry. Xiaoping, holding those precious white wafers, stood alone in the empty schoolroom, his eyes brimming with hot tears. He felt that he picked up not just a few wafers, but so much more even more precious than the wafers. Is everyone here? Wait, we... don't start without us, Shawan. Uh, uh, uh. Get out of my way. <clears throat> Please pay attention, everyone. I've said this before, and I'm starting to sound like a broken record. This is getting tiresome. This is the last time I'll say this. This is a serious matter, and it affects us all. We should not delay the time we start work for our autumn harvest, because the livelihood of many families depend on our output every second. Yeah, Chairman Mao taught right. us, 10,000 years is too long, so we should seize the day. In the future, please don't be late! I mean, take note of the demerit and deduct work points for those who are late. Wait a minute! Why would you do that? We wouldn't dare disobey Chairman Mao, and we wouldn't dare delay the time we start work. But I got sick last night, I caught a bad cold, and I have diarrhea. Just what is the matter? We've responded to the call of the party, and work despite being ill. It's fine if you don't commend us, but don't you dare punish us! Listen, Auntie, I'm not picking on you, okay? I'm doing this for the benefit of everyone! Not just those with diarrhea. <laughs> Let's get down to business. What is so amusing? Why are you laughing? Do you think this is funny? Shaolin, you are a true team leader indeed. But we feel like you're treating us as if we're your slaves. If you don't believe me, ask them. Almost everyone here says so. They say that you press them too hard. So much so that they find you to be cruel. When we're taking a break, I would often light a cigarette. 
But before I could finish, he called us back to work again. You see? Ah, going to work every day. You push us to do so much. We hardly have time to eat, much less take a leak. Do you know what they call you behind your back, Shawan? King Yama-san. If we don't work hard now, when food distribution in autumn comes, you'd be calling me the grandson of a turtle. I'd rather be called King Yama-san than the grandson of a turtle. Why are we protesting so much about our workload? Are you all blind? Shawa works hard too. In fact, he picks the toughest tasks to work on daily. His farming skills are excellent. The techniques he employs are superior and exceptional. Point, huh? Very admirable. His involvement is unquestionable. An old timer like me appreciates his dedication to work. Exactly. Aren't those the reasons why we vote for him every year? Why are you badgering him? As the director for women in this village, I have a lot of work to do too. So please excuse what me. What about your work points? The brigade will record them. What's the big deal? It's just recording some work points. You can just record them any way you want. It's not my land. No matter how many points you record, I'd still be hungry. Isn't that what's on your mind, Auntie? Each one of you here thinks the same way. I know it. <laughs> Shawan, you're exactly right. Yes, it's all about getting work points. Whether you work hard or work smart, that's all you get. So tell me, what's the use of working so hard? It's pointless. Why should we even bother? Am I right, everyone? Why won't anyone speak up? You were saying so many things behind his back. Fine. Keep quiet, then. That's because you're all such cowards! <sighs> There's something important I had been meaning to tell all of you. But I was waiting for the right time. <sighs> I guess this is it. We should ask ourselves why the enthusiasm for work is so low among us. Is it because the parcels of land that we work on do not belong to us? And that we're still as impoverished as the day we were born? Now, if it were your own land, you wouldn't need me to motivate you. You would hurry there yourselves, right? In fact, these lands for pig feed, Fugao and I have already divided it. It's done. I need to find out if you agree that now is the time to allocate it so that each household will have their own land to till. For those who agree, there's no need to speak. Just raise your hand. Thank you. So then, those of you who think that we should get this done here and now, show me. Raise your hand! <clears throat> Let's go. Hurry up! You heard him? Hurry up! Quick! Hurry up! Inside! Everyone knows when it comes to dividing land. <laughs> All of us would like to get more. That's why we're talking behind closed doors. That's why we need someone to keep watch. If someone finds out and files charges, we'd be publicly criticized. Well, let's do it this way. Only one person from each household will remain here to draw lots. Ah, Father, please leave the rest outside to keep watch. Now on. Allocating this land to us. Aren't you afraid of courting trouble? What kind of trouble? Without authorization, you allotted land for pig feed and for private use. If our superiors find out, won't you be blamed for it? I'm not the only one doing this. Some other teams in our commune have also subdivided land secretly too. If the county doesn't care, <sighs> if our superiors don't check, and no one will tell, who would know? But if someone were to leak this out, what then? If you benefit from it, are you going to say anything? 
you all realize that if what we do today is ever exposed, our team leader will bear responsibility. I can draft a confidentiality agreement. After that, we can all affix our fingerprints on the document. What do you say? Okay, good. Let's draw lots. Good. Now I'll call out your name to say appear in the registry. Come forward when you're called. Uh, uh Ten Desha. Ken Chawa. Chuanzu. Sun Yutia. Guda. Chita. Sefang. Ken Mijua. Father. Oh. <laughs> My turn. You all know I'm a very superstitious old man. What I'm doing I like this. I like is what grasping I got. destiny with my very own hands. Shawan. <laughs> Fugao. <sighs> are we all done? Yes, yes well, they are. Uh, congratulations. Please, yes. not so loud. <laughs> oh. You can still clap, but not too loud. You guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shawan. Why don't you show everybody what you got? Never mind, let's go back to work. Come on, oh, come on, show us! Show us! Show us! Look at your own, why do you have to look at mine? Yeah, no, to do it. Oh, come on! Oh, all right, I'll show it to you. But like we agreed, stick to what parcel of land you got. No exchanging. <laughs> no exchanging. <laughs> what happened? How come I drew the best parcel of land? <laughs> How? We all knew you didn't draw any, Shawan. The ball of paper in your pocket, you placed it there beforehand. It's the worst parcel of land. <laughs> so, no. what we did no. was exchange it for you. <laughs> I don't like this. It's not fair. Wait, Shawan. Everybody here means well. We did it for you. If you don't want it, then we'll just return all the balls of paper back. Yes, come on, return the right. Put everything back. Let's draw lots again. Oh. Whenever we draw, that's it, okay? Come on, put them back. All right, all right. Come on, put them here. <laughs> all right. Here. Who draws first? Oh. Go ahead! Oh. Come on. Stopping this game. Listen to me. Form a semicircle around the backboard. Let me explain the rules. Whoever has the ball takes a shot. If the person who succeeds in shooting the ball in the ring gets the ball again, he or she is not allowed to shoot. The ball has to be passed to another. Is that clear? Yes. Very good. Hong Mei, you're first. <laughs> Pass it to me! Young man, here! <laughs> Go in! Oh, oh, here, here! Here, oh, 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 shopping, take it! Come on! Oh, this is fun! Oh. Oh. Hi! Oh! Shopping, what's with you? Um, tell me what happened. Why is your face so red? Are you alright? And what happened to your eyes? They're kind of misty. Can you still see clearly? Hey, Xiaoping! This book is really good! I'll lend it to you! At that moment, Xiaoping felt really depressed. And he had fallen deeply into a state of despair and disappointment. If he couldn't have any kind of relationship with Hao Hong Mei in the first place, perhaps his crisis would have been limited to hunger. Unfortunately, a disturbing emotional crisis has arisen as well. You know what? Gu Yangmin buys all of Hong Mei's meals now. They're together all the time. 
I also noticed that every time there's a class activity, Yang Min would assign her to his team. I see them talking and laughing during breaks. I suppose they're in a relationship now. Ren Chang. What? Can you help me slip a note to Hong Mei? Please say yes. Okay, sure. Sun Xiaoping! You asked Tian Yun Shen to slip me a note, saying you want to see me. I noticed that you've been deliberately avoiding me lately. Is it because you're in a relationship? I'm giving you back your note. You better tear it up quickly. Are you seeing Gu Yang Min now? Yes, it's true. I'm now in a relationship with him. <laughs> 